Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video, we are going to learn how to add Razor Pay payment details to Google Sheets and send WhatsApp message. So I'm a digital marketing trainer and I'm offering different sessions on digital marketing and I'm using Razor Pay as my payment gateway to receive the payments for my sessions. So here in this case, I want whenever I receive a new payment through my Razor Pay, automatically that payment detail should be added in my Google Sheets as a new row and after after that, automatically a payment confirmation message should be sent to my customers on their WhatsApp numbers. So here to build this connection, I need to connect these applications using an automation software named as Public Connect. So here to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video, we are going to learn how to add Razor Pay payment details to Google Sheets and send WhatsApp message. So as I've already mentioned in my introduction that I operate a tutoring service where I accept payments through Razor Pay for tutoring sessions. So it's crucial for me to maintain accurate records of payments and ensure clear communication with my students. So here I'm going to connect my Razor Pay with my Google Sheets so that I can automatically log every payment transaction into a dedicated spreadsheet. So here you can see my payment page which I have created using Razor Pay and here in this case I want whenever I receive a new payment using this payment page automatically that payment detail should be added in my Google Sheets as a new row and after that automatically a successful payment received confirmation message should be sent to my customer on his or her WhatsApp number. This automated communication not only enhances customer satisfaction by keeping students informed but also saves me valuable time that I can dedicate to preparing for tutoring sessions and delivering quality educational content. This integrated approach helps me streamline payment tracking, maintain excellent customer service and focus more on delivering effective tutoring sessions. So here to build this connection, I need to connect my Razor Pay with my Google Sheets and my WhatsApp Cloud API. And to build this connection, I'm going to use an automation software named as Public Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software and it connects all your favorite apps and makes them work together seamlessly. You can set it up to do things automatically like updating customer info across platforms or sending notifications when something important happens. It's really easy to use and saves you tons of time that you can spend on more important stuff. Plus it keeps everything organized and error free so you can focus on growing your business hustle free. So this is the homepage of Pabli Connect and you can visit this page by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. And here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user so I'm clicking on sign in. Now after signing in here you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to connect my applications, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. So this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here to build my connection, I need to create a workflow first. So for that, I'm going to click on this create workflow button given on the top right corner. Now here in this create workflow dialog box, I have to give a name to my workflow. So here I'm going to give the name as add Razor Pay payment details to Google Sheets and send WhatsApp message. And here I'm going to select my folder as automations. You can select your folder as per your need. Also, you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now here to learn how to create a new folder in Pabli Connect, you have to click on this learn more link given over here. And by clicking on this, it will take you to our forum window where you can see all the instructions to how to create a new folder in Pabli Connect. So moving back to my Pabli's dashboard and here to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this create button given over here. Now here in this workflow window, you can see we have successfully created a workflow and here you can see the two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up a trigger. So here I'm going to select my trigger application as Razor Pay. So Razor Pay is a popular online payment gateway in India that makes it easy for businesses to accept payments from customers. 
Think of it as a bridge between your bank and your customers, allowing them to pay using various methods like credit cards, debit cards, net banking, UPI and more. People use Razorpay because it's user-friendly, secure and supports a wide range of payment options. Plus, it offers additional features like recurring payments, payment links and invoicing, making it a versatile solution for businesses of all sizes. Whether you are running an online store or offering services, Razorpay helps you handle payments smoothly and efficiently. So here in my Razorpay trigger, I'm going to select my trigger event as payment captured. Because here I want, whenever I receive a new payment through my Razor payment page, automatically Pabli Connect should receive a response. And here you can see I have received a webhook URL. That means here I'm going to use this webhook URL to connect my Razorpay account with Pabli Connect. So here following the instructions given below, here I've already logged in in my Razorpay account. And from here I'm going to click on this account and settings options given over here. And here under account and product settings, you can see an option for website and app settings. And here under website and app settings, you can see an option for webhooks. So here I'm going to click on this. And from here I'm going to click on this add a new webhook option given over here. And then here you can see for the webhook setup, it is asking for a webhook URL. So here to get this webhook URL, let me take you back to Pabli's window. And here I'm going to copy this webhook URL. Moving back to my razor pay. And here I'm going to enter this webhook URL. And now here after entering this webhook URL, here I'm going to select the active events. So here for my active event, I'm going to select payment captured. But you can select your payment event as per your action event selected. And now here after selecting this active event, automatically whenever a new payment will be captured, then Razorpay will send the response to this webhook URL. And now here after selecting all the required data, I'm going to click on this create a webhook. And here you can see webhook saved successfully. That means we have successfully set up the webhook inside Razor Pay. So moving back to my Pabli's window, and here you can see as it is waiting for webhook response. That means here to receive a webhook response, we need to do a test submission. And to do a test submission, we need to make a test payment in our Razor Pay payment page. So for that, let me take you back to my payment page. So this is my payment page and here I'm selling a digital marketing session and for that I'm going to receive payments through this payment page. So here I'm going to enter some dummy data and do a test submission. So here you can see the amount has already been fixed. So here I'm going to enter the first name as dummy, last name as user, email as dummy at the rate pabletudes.com, a random phone number and then I'm going to click on this pay amount. And now here I'm going to select my payment option as UPI and QR. And as you all can see that my payment is in a test mode. That means here I'm going to make a test payment. So for that I'm going to select my payment method. And now I'm going to enter the UPI ID here. So here I'm going to enter my UPI ID. And now I'm going to click on this pay now. And here you can see the payment is successful. So moving back to Pabli's window. And here you can see we have successfully received a response here where we have received the details such as the payment method, customer's first name, last name, email, moving forward, the amount, customer's phone number and some other details. So with this we have successfully set up our trigger step. Now let's move to action step and here I'm going to select my action application as Google Sheets. So here I'm going to select Google Sheets over any other data storing platform because it's easy to access from anywhere and great for working together. It's free, works well with other Google apps and has lots of helpful features plus it's super simple to use. So here in my Google Sheets action, I'm going to select my action event as add a new row so that whenever a new payment is captured in my Razor Pay, automatically the details of that payment should be captured in my Google Sheets as a new row. And now here to connect my Google Sheets with Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your Google Sheets account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, I'm going to click on this sign in with Google. Here I'm going to select my desired account and then I'm going to click on this allow and give access to Pabli as your data is secured with Pabli. Authorization successful.
and now here after building a successful connection moving forward and then here it is asking me to select the spreadsheet so here to get this spreadsheet name let me take you back to my spreadsheet which i have created and here you can see my spreadsheet which i have created with the name razor pay payments so moving back to pabli's window and here i'm going to select my spreadsheet as razor pay payments now here after selecting the spreadsheet here i'm going to select my sheet as sheet 1 moving forward and now here it is asking me for customer's name email phone number and order id so basically these are the fields which i've entered in my google sheet so moving back to my pabli's window and now here instead of entering these details manually here i'm going to map the data mapping data means insert data from previous step that means here i'm going to map the data from the response i have received in my trigger step Mapping makes a text dynamic so that whenever a new payment is captured in a Razor Pay, automatically this previously existing detail will be updated with the new one. So here I'm going to map the customer's name. So this is the first name, space, last name. Here I'm going to map the customer's email. Moving forward, here I'm going to map the customer's phone number. And lastly, here I'm going to map the order ID. So this is the order ID, and now here after entering all the required data, I'm going to click on the Save and Send Test Request. And here you can see we have successfully received a response here. That means we have successfully added the details in our Google Sheets. So now let's go and check it. And here you can see we have successfully received a response here where we have received customer's name as dummy user, email as dummy at the rate pabletudes dot com, customer's phone number, and order ID. So with this, we have successfully set up this action step. Now let's move to another action step by clicking on this Add Action Step button given over here. And here I'm going to select my action application as WhatsApp Cloud API. So WhatsApp is a popular messaging app that lets you send text, make calls, and share photos and videos with friends and family all for free. It works on smartphones and is super easy to use, which is why so many people love it. With WhatsApp you can create group chats, send voice messages and even make video calls making it a great way to stay connected with loved ones no matter where they are in the world. People use WhatsApp because it's reliable, secure and offers a lot of features that make communication fun and convenient. So in my WhatsApp Cloud API action step, I'm going to select my action event as send template message so that after adding all the details in my Google Sheets, automatically a payment received confirmation message should be sent to my customer on his or her WhatsApp number. And now here to connect my WhatsApp Cloud API with Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Again here to build a new connection I'm going to select add new connection if your WhatsApp Cloud API account is already connected with Pabli Connect then you can click on select existing connection and now here to build a new connection it is asking me for a token phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID so to get all these details I need to set up my WhatsApp Cloud API account and here if you want to learn how you can set up your WhatsApp Cloud API account then you have to click on this learn more link given over here and by clicking on this it will take you to a forum window where you can see all the instructions to how to get the desired details and how to set up your WhatsApp Cloud API account so moving back to Pabli's window so now here I've already followed all the steps that were instructed on a forum window and I've already set up my WhatsApp Cloud API account in Meta for developers. So here you can see I have received a temporary access token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So here you can see I have received a temporary access token that means this token will expire in 23 hours. So here to receive a permanent access token you have to set up your permanent WhatsApp Cloud API account. And now here I'm going to copy all these details and paste in my Pabli's window. So here I've entered all the details and now I'm going to click on the save. And here you can see we are now successfully connected so moving forward and now here it is asking me for a template name. So for that let me take you back to my WhatsApp Cloud API setup and here in step 2 you can see it says to create your own message template click here. So here I'm going to click on it. And here under message templates you can see all the templates which I have created for my use and if you want to learn how to create your own message template then you can check out the video on our YouTube channel. And now here in this case I am going to use a template which I have created with the name Razor Pay Payment. So here I am going to open it. And here you can see the message which I have drafted which says Hello demo user, we are delighted to inform you that your payment has been successfully processed. 
We are excited to have you on board and look forward to helping you on your learning journey. If you have any questions or need assistance, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you for choosing us. Best regards, Digital Dynamics. And here you can see I have used a variable in the place of name. That is because I want whenever I receive a new payment in my Razor Pay, automatically this customer's name should keep updating. Variables makes a text dynamic and you can add multiple variables in your draft. So moving back to Pabli's window and here I'm going to select my template name as Razor Pay Payment. And now here after selecting this template name, automatically this language code and selected template ID will be updated. And now here it is asking me for recipient mobile number. That means here I need to enter the number to whom I want to send this WhatsApp message. So again here I'm going to map my customer's phone number. So this is the number and now here it is asking me for body field 1. That means here I need to enter the value for my variable. So as I've already told you that I have used a variable in the place of name. That means here I'm going to map my customer's name. So here I'm going to map the first name only. And now here before clicking on the save and send test request, I'm going to replace this dummy user number with my original number so that I can receive a WhatsApp message here. So here I've successfully added my number and now I'm going to click on the save and send test request. And here you can see we have received a successful response where the message status is accepted. That means we have successfully received a WhatsApp message. So now let's go and check it. So this is my WhatsApp account and here you can see I have successfully received a message from WhatsApp API number and here you can see the message which we have received which says hello dummy. We are delighted to inform you that your payment has been successfully processed. We are excited to have you on board and look forward to helping you on your learning journey. If you have any questions or need assistance, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you for choosing us. Best regards, Digital Dynamics. So with this, we have successfully set up our automation. Now let's test our automation with a real-time example to check whether it is working or not. And to test our automation, we need to make another test payment using our Razorpay payment page. So for that, let me take you back to my payment page. And here I'm going to enter dummy data and do a test submission. So here for the first name, I'm going to enter the name as test, last name as user. Email as test at the rate pablitudes.com and this time I'm going to enter my original number so that I can receive a WhatsApp message. And now here after entering all the details, here I'm going to click on this pay. Again, I'm going to make a test payment and for that I'm going to select UPI or QR and here I'm going to enter the UPI ID. And now here after entering the UPI ID, I'm going to click on this pay now. And here you can see our payment has been successful. So now let's go and check our Google Sheets first. And here you can see we have successfully received a detail here where we have received the customer's name as test user, email as test at the rate pablitudes.com, customer's phone number and order ID. So now let's go and check our WhatsApp. And here you can see we have successfully received another message which says hello test and with the same message body. So with this we have successfully tested our automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as Razor Pay and our action as Google Sheets and WhatsApp Cloud API. So that whenever a new payment is received in our Razor Pay, automatically the payment detail should be added in our Google Sheets as a new row. And after that, automatically a payment confirmation WhatsApp message should be sent to my customer on his or her WhatsApp number. And now if you want to use the same workflow, then you can find the clone link in the description box below. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can contact us on support at zaritpabli.com. If you have any query, you can contact us on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, then you can contact us on www.pabli.com. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.